I have my zipper and I marked an inch from the end on both uh, sides of the zipper tape and this use this method whether you did zip, zipper tape or an actual uh, zipper and then from this mark to the next mark should be seven and a half inches and what this will do is it'll provide you with a place to a reference mark so each of these marks will go on a seam and then same thing when we uh, do it on the other side and that will help us uh, keep the zipper in the same place so first I'm going to it'll help keep you from having a wavy zipper with this one you'll notice my zipper is a little wavy and my seams I don't know if you can tell on this light but they're not exactly across from each other they're slightly crooked so that for that one I did not use this zipper method so I have the seam matched up there and then I made this zipper angle off and then I will match up this other mark to this other seam And you'll notice I have the seam pointing away from the center panel towards the gusset. Do that on each of those seams. And I will clip in between. And over here, then I will angle my zipper down before I get to this center gusset mark. Now I am going to clip it on this side as well in the same manner. And this will help me keep my uh, zipper the same. The most important thing is that the zipper is done the same on both sides. The angle, especially over here having to angle off at the same angle. So over here, I compare both sides. I want it to look exactly the same. ready to base this in place. And at this point I am going to sew on the zipper and I am not going to baste it on. I am going to sew it on. Remember, I am sewing this on with a quarter inch seam allowance. Actually, I forgot to mention this. With a slightly less than quarter inch seam allowance. A scant quarter inch. Uh, and then the next time we sew the pieces together, we will sew it with a quarter inch seam allowance. And we'll make sure to cover up this stitch. I'm just using my ruler to try to keep me from getting a uh, wrinkle in the zipper. My zipper tape is wide enough that I'm using a normal zipper foot, but generally I s switch to a a normal foot, uh, a zipper foot instead of my normal foot. However, with the four and a half size, the size four and a half zipper, it's just a little wider. Oops. 
I've got to make sure my seam goes the correct way. It does not want to go that way. There. Sometimes I use my scissors because they can poke things in so I don't end up sewing over my finger. And I'm just going to go over this one more time just to anchor that D-ring in place. 